Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And don't forget to go to PoolTeacher.com and register for our big giveaway. Once we reach 25,000 subscribers, we're going to be holding another big event with all sorts of wonderful prizes. But you got to go to PoolTeacher.com, click on the YouTube giveaways button, and fill out the form to get registered. Beeler's Virtual Billiard Academy is also booking in-person lessons. Call 606-669-8401 to schedule an appointment. Be sure to book well in advance. pocket a ball at the correct speed but still miss position on your next shot well maybe you're suffering from catapulting tip syndrome and in this video I'm going to give you the medicine to cure your disease so stay tuned guys hello I'm master instructor Anthony Beeler and welcome to another episode of do you want to play like a pro in this video I'm happy to report that we've reached our goal of 10,000 subscribers and I just would like to say thank you to all the viewers because without you this would never have been possible and as a thank you to you today we're going to be having our big giveaway be sure to stay tuned until the very end to see if you won one of these great prizes that we're offering in this video, we're going to be talking about the subject, accuracy is everything. You know, when it comes to aiming, accuracy is extremely important. Last week, we talked about the theme, you can aim straight, you can shoot straight, and you can still miss the ball. Well, this is lesson two on that. And today, I'm going to give you a cheat that professional players use that I haven't seen published anywhere on the internet. And I think you're going to find this to be a very enjoyable lesson. And uh, I think you're going to really be enlightened as to what some of these professional players are doing. Let's go to the table and see how they do it. Last week, we talked about the wrinkle. But this week, we're going to talk about catapulting tip syndrome. Now, I'm sure you probably never heard of catapulting tip syndrome. So... What first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to explain what that means. To begin with, you need to understand that there are two types of pool strokes that are predominantly used in the United States. The first one is the pendulum stroke. And the pendulum stroke, as we discussed last week, uh, simply put is when the grip hand goes up, the tip goes down. And you'll see a lot of pool players use the pendulum stroke when they're pocketing balls. Just about all the, the players that you will see at some point use the pendulum stroke. The second type of stroke that you'll see players use is called the J-stroke. And the J-stroke is where there is some elbow drop as they go through. Maybe not that pronounced, but there'll be some elbow drop in there when they're stroking the cue and the tip usually will come straight through or it'll go down just a little bit depending on what action that they're putting on the ball. So understanding that and understanding that with the J stroke there's some elbow drop and sometimes the tip may not go down the same way that it would with a pendulum stroke. You know with the pendulum stroke the elbow is steady and the tip's going down. With that J stroke, when you, you pocket balls with a lot of speed and you hit shots with a great deal of power, there's a natural tendency for your elbow to want to drop. 
as you're getting through that ball, there's a natural tendency for you to drive through the ball and put spin on it or whatever, or, or put the power on to power the ball around. The problem with this is, I'm, I'm gonna give you an analogy. When I was in high school, there was a student that came over to my house to play pool with me, and he wasn't a very experienced pool player. And I never will forget, he said, give me the cue ball, I'm gonna break. And so he goes up to break the balls, he winds up to hit him as hard as he can. And when he comes through, his elbow drops and the tip goes up into the light, breaking it into a thousand pieces. So what I want you to understand is, anytime this elbow drops, if your timing isn't absolutely 100% perfect, you're not going to strike exactly where you want to on the cue ball. This is a training cue ball. And all of the tip positions are marked on this side of the ball. When your tip makes contact with the cue ball, roughly only one eighth of an inch makes contact with the ball. So a half of a tip is one sixteenth of an inch. To put this in perspective, when you strike the cue ball two table lengths, all the way up, all the way back, if you're putting draw on the cue ball, one half of a tip is equal to one diamond. So every half tip of English you put on the cue ball, that makes the cue ball draw another diamond. So a half tip below, at a two table length speed is going to be equal to a one diamond draw. A full tip below is equal to a two diamond draw. A three diamond draw would be a tip and a half below and so on and so forth. Every increment is one sixteenth of an inch. When this elbow gets to moving, you're not going to be 100% accurate with your tip hit most of the time. Unless you're, you've worked on your timing and everything works together, poetry in motion, most of the time you're not going to be within 1 16th of an inch on this ball. Now that your professional players have practiced and their timing is good enough that they can do this most of the time. But I will tell you, that a great deal of the professional players are using a cheat. I mean, they're not breaking the rules. Don't get me wrong. The cheat is very legal, but it has to do something with their elbow. So, again, we said there's a natural tendency for the elbow to want to drop on power shots. So, how do the professional players keep this elbow from dropping when they're shooting shots at warp speed? And the answer has to do with the angle of the elbow. So let's look at some pictures just for a moment to kind of better explain things. You know, there's three angles of the elbow. Uh, what most books or most videos uh, have put out to be the standard is the perpendicular elbow or the elbow that's 100% straight up and down. And that's been the standard for years. But if that's the standard, how come over 70% of your professional players do not use a perpendicular elbow? In fact, their elbow is angled in towards their body. The reason that they do this is when they angle this elbow in. See, the elbow can't go anywhere. It really can't drop. It's, it's locked in there. It's locked in, and when you come through, there's no elbow drop. You can actually take this part of your arm here 
and actually press it against your body to hold this arm in place. Now, keep in mind to come straight through the ball, you've got to cock this wrist in just a little bit to keep your straight action straight through. But all of this is a cheat that the professional players are doing to hit the ball more accurately. If you don't believe me, take a look at this video of Shane Van Boning pocketing a ball at warp speed. Look at his elbow position. And look at some of the other players that have their elbow positions in a similar fashion. Again, when you angle in, it's a cheat to keep you from dropping your elbow. When you drop your elbow, your tip can go up, up into the air. If your timing is not 100% right, it may not go up into the air, but you may not hit exactly on this cue ball where you want to hit. You could be a sixteenth of an inch off. So when you're drawing the ball back, instead of coming back one diamond, maybe you don't come back at all. Or maybe you come back two diamonds because you exaggerate and aim lower than what you normally would. Just to make up for that miss hit on the cue ball. So all this is very important information. You know, whenever that you're getting into uh, the elbow drop issue, it's just another thing that you can do to make your game that much more accurate. Catapulting tip syndrome is when the elbow drops and the tip flies. And again, on most shots, it's not going to fly that much. It may just be a sixteenth of an inch an eighth of an inch, whatever, but it can be enough to cause you to miss position on your next shot. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Do You Want to Play Like a Pro? I hope you've enjoyed this lesson on the catapulting tip syndrome. Be sure to practice with your elbow angled in, and if you scotch it up against your body just a bit, then I think your pendulum stroke is going to be much more stationary when you come through, and you're going to be much more precise on your hit when you strike the cue ball. Okay, so now it's time for our big giveaway. What I'm going to do is I'm going to name the prize. I'm going to name the person who has won the prize, and I'm going to give you the last four digits of their phone number because. There may be more than one person with the same name. And if I give you the last four digits of your phone number, then it'll be easy to match up as to whether that's you or not. So the first thing we're going to look at here is this McDermott case. And uh, the winner of the McDermott case is Joshua Wenzel. And the last four digits of Joshua's phone number is 2265. So your name is Joshua Wenzel, and the last four digits of your phone number is 2265. Be sure to call me and make arrangements to get this wonderful McDermott case. It's a one by one, and I'm sure you're really going to enjoy it. The next thing we're going to give away is uh, a McDermott Q and Case combo, and the winner of the McDermott Q and Case combo is Amy Dillard. So, uh, Amy. If you see this, be sure to give me a call or send me a text and make arrangements to get your case. The last four digits of your phone number is 8418. So if your name is Amy Dillard and the last four digits of your phone number is 8418, be sure to give me a call and we'll make arrangements to get this case out to you. Okay, again here we've got another Q and case combo. And the winner of this Q and Case combo is David Spiller. And David, uh, the last four digits of your phone number should be 9212. 9212. David Spiller, when you see this, give me a call and make arrangements to get your Q and Case combo.
The next prize we're going to be giving away is a McDermott Lucky Jump Cue. And the winner of the McDermott Lucky Jump Cue is Michael James. So, Michael, if you're watching, be sure to uh, send me a, uh, a text or shoot me uh, an email or just give me a phone call. Uh, again, the last four digits of your phone number should be 1381. Michael James 1381. If those are the last four digits of your phone number, contact me and we'll make arrangements to get this jump cue out to you sometime this week. Our next winner is for the Green McDermott Lucky Jump Cue. And the winner of the Green McDermott Lucky Jump Cue is Michael Brown. So if your name's Michael Brown and the last four digits of your phone number are 2091. Be sure to give me a call and make arrangements to uh, get your jump cue. And along with most of the prizes we're giving away, we're giving away virtual Beard Academy toaster sets. So if you receive one of those in the mail, just know that you're one of the lucky recipients to get that. I hope you enjoy that as well. Our next winner is for a, a free platinum pool course. And uh, the winner of our free platinum pool course with a $500 value is Regina Norman. So Regina, uh, be sure to give me a call if the last four digits of your phone number are 7685. 7685, Regina Norman. And you'll receive five $100 gift cards for pool lessons in my online course. Our next winner is for a McDermott t-shirt. This is a Defy t-shirt. It's got some lettering on the front and on the back. The winner of our Defy t-shirt is Benny Conley all the way from Puerto Rico. So uh, Benny, uh, give me a call and make arrangements to get your t-shirt. 4978 are the last four digits of your phone number. Benny Conley 4978. The next prize that we're giving away is an Alan Hopkins Life of Pool book, hand signed by Alan himself. The winner of the Alan Hopkins Life of Pool book is John Swimmer. So, John, uh, if the last four digits of your phone number are 2433, give me a call, shoot me a text. Make arrangements to get your book. Okay, and now for the autograph ball set from world champion Nick Varner. The winner of the autograph ball set is James Copeland. James Copeland, you're the winner. If the last four digits of your phone number are 4544, James Copeland, call me and make arrangements to receive your autograph ball set. Okay, on to our next prize. Our next prize is a McDermott t-shirt. And the winner of the McDermott shirt is Mark Bracewell, 8497. Mark Bracewell, you're the winner of the McDermott shirt. And be sure to give me a call and make arrangements to get the shirt out to you. Our next prize is a virtual Billiard Academy book. And the winner of the Virtual Billiard Academy book is Richard Petty. Richard Petty, if the last four digits of your phone number are 8679, give me a call and we'll get this book out to you. The next thing that we're going to be giving away is a position play template and a copy of both of my books, both Unstoppable books. And uh, the winner of the Unstoppable book set is Ronnie Rose. Ronnie, if the last four digits of your phone number are 1079, give me a call, shoot me an email, make arrangements to get your prize. Our next prize is a laser, and you can use this laser to make your stroke more accurate. And uh, the winner of the stroke laser is Christopher Stowe. So, Christopher, if the last four digits of your phone number are 3247, get in contact with me, and we'll make arrangements to get your aiming laser to you sometime this week. 
Our next prize is this McDermott t-shirt. And the winner of the McDermott t-shirt is Ricky Poole. Ricky Poole, be sure to give me a call if the last four digits of your phone number are 5973. Uh, Ricky Poole, give me a call, shoot me an email. We'll get this t-shirt out to you. Our next prize is going to be a permanent racking template. You can place it on your table and leave it there for perfect racks every single time. The winner of the racking template is Fidel Bernard. Fidel Bernard, if the last four digits of your phone number are 0017, give me a call and we'll get your template out to you. And then last, but certainly not least, we've got another laser. And the winner of the, the stroke laser is Kelly Backyield. So Kelly Backyield, the last four digits of your phone number are 5712. Uh, get in contact with me and uh, we'll get your laser out to you. I just would like to take a minute and just say thank you to all the viewers. Again, we couldn't have done this without you. We appreciate your support at home. And uh, we're looking forward to another successful season here at Do You Want to Play Like a Pro. Be sure to tune in next week. And we're going to start our next giveaway. And uh, next time, we're going to be setting a goal of 25,000 subscribers. And once we reach that, we're going to have a whole set of uh, new wonderful prizes. But you'll have to re-register to get in line for the next big giveaway. But again, thanks for watching and have a wonderful week. It's just one of those amazing classes that uh, you can never forget. It's one of those classes that can really get you going where you want to go with the game. It's the best online course on pool out there. It's been really cool working with Anthony from home. I've already learned so much. I love the course, it's easy to use and available 24 seven, which fits well with my busy schedule. Luckily, I stumbled upon Anthony Bueller's online courses, so I signed up. And within three or four months, my game had improved dramatically. It will definitely improve your game. When I did go back to the regional tournament, finally after seven years, I got first place. They bumped me up to the next division. I went back the following year. I got first place in that division the first year. I can't say highly enough how much Anthony's courses have helped me, and I have no doubt they will help you too. If you do have any questions, he's available on the phone calls. He answers your questions very quickly. Uh, someone asked me about Anthony Biller's Virtual Beer Academy class. Go all the way.